Hey, what's going on, guys? DJS here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys this week's weekly recap, and it is Friday, the 24th of January. Let's go ahead and jump in. Um, I can't believe it's the end of, of January already. This is nuts. But anyway, uh, the Nike SB P-Rod 8, it looks like some early images um, have been uh, kind of thrown out of that. Looks like it has some Lunar on the back there, which is kind of crazy looking. They actually kind of look like some Kobe's. Um, pretty wild. Anyway, if you guys want to check that out, uh, the G-Money uh, wrote that. New Balance 998 Pool Blue. Clean my kicks did an article on those. Those look actually pretty uh, pretty nice. The materials look pretty crazy, even from a thumbnail. Um, there was some images of a Nike LeBron 9 PS uh, Elite, the South Beach with MVP on the tongue. And uh, it's pretty crazy that something like this would serve us so late in the game. Uh, but these ones were for sale as well as some Statue uh, Statue of Liberty Elites, and they are both going for a, a tremendous amount of money, I think ten grand or something like that. Pretty ridiculous. Uh, anyway, we got some new colorways of the Jordan 28 SE. This one is a squadron, squadron green and bolt colorway. Uh, release date's coming up pretty soon. Um, let's see here. Here's some, some more information about the All Roads Lead to uh, Tinic. I don't even know what that is. Uh, I have not read that, but uh, Kickstarter did that article if you guys are interested. I'm glad I have writers that are up on some of this stuff because this is another one that I didn't get to, and I'm glad the G Money did. Uh, uh, the SP Janowski's I get a tiger, tiger stripe um, pack, which is available. Um, also, some more information about the Reebok Shack Attack 4 uh, out there from Kicks Reason, and another one from Kicks Reason regarding the Reebok Blast and uh, D Time, which I do not know anything about again because I'm not the Reebok guy, but. Let's uh, focus on the ones that I do know a little bit more about, the stories that I did right? I'm just kind of introducing them to you guys, and you guys can go check out the website in the description and check out these articles more in depth if they pique your interest. Uh, the Air Jordan 9 Retro, the, the Barons, uh, with the 45 on the back. I think this is going to be kind of a, a big shoe just because of what it is. If you guys want to click this story and, and, and get a backstory of what the Barons are, and uh, Michael Jordan, how he played uh, on the baseball team and all this other stuff. There's some stats and from when he was playing on the team that I put on there. It's a pretty interesting uh, little read if you guys want to check it out. But a 45 on the back is the first time it will actually, as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's the first time we'll actually see an official Jordan release with a 45 on the back. We all know about uh, the Jordan 11s with uh, the 45s on the back and how, how the samples and stuff. It would be cool to actually see some more releases with the 45s. Uh, these ones are, are pretty significant, though. Um, anyway, moving on. Nike LeBron 8 low. We got a Dolphin sample that, that kind of uh, showed up as well. So it's interesting when you see LeBron 8s and 9s, um, and we're already on the 11 and stuff. It's crazy that they surface like two or three years later. But uh, keeping it moving, this was something that comes out tomorrow that I'm excited about, the SB, uh, Chinese New Year, the, the Red Packet release date. Uh, it was really announced last minute, and, of course, it's dropping this week. I really uh, – those definitely piqued my interest. It's something I'm looking forward to, to hopefully uh, cop in. Um, also, I, the videos are back down here, um, again, on my right-hand side. Looks like my web guy put the videos back on, which I didn't realize. Um, anyway, uh, Nike Trainer SC Volt, or SC2 um, in the Volt, cool gray and black colorway. Just an, a random release that came out. I don't know what store is actually going to be carrying those, uh, but they're already out, and they look crazy. I really li I like those. They kind of remind me of the 112 pack a little bit, um, even. I hate to say it, but uh, cool colorway nonetheless. Uh, Kobe 9 Elite Perspective It's a new colorway image. Uh, that's out there. Price points 225 on those. They drop in a week and a day. Uh, the first colorway, not this colorway necessarily. Uh, this one looks like it's slated for March, but it's pretty crazy. We're already going to be seeing the Kobe 9 um, out there. In fact, um, Swaggy P or whatever played in the Kobe 9s yesterday. I didn't do an article on it yet. I've been too busy doing other things, but yeah, pretty crazy. Um, he didn't even, like Kobe didn't even, even uh, break out the, the Kobe um the, the new, new Kobe's first, so it's kind of kind of wild. Anyway, uh, some new images of the All-Star LeBron 11s. Pretty crazy. Lots of glow-in-the-dark action going on there and some details around the collar and tongue. Looks like a pretty interesting shoe. Some Definitely some texture around the Nike swoosh as well. Uh, definitely want to see more. And that marbled sole, uh, those things are, these things are just nuts. I'm curious to what, see what the other shoes in the pack are going to look like and if we're even going to get a... Um, a Kobe in the pack. It seems like they've kind of withdrawn the Kobe's from from all these uh, special packs and stuff. As you can see with the Christmas pack, they released the Kobe 8 instead of the Kobe 9, obviously, because it's not out yet. Um, more interesting news, the, the Nike LeBron 11 Elite gets a possible first look, and these, these things basically look like the LeBron 11s. I don't see too much of a difference. Uh, you can bet I'll definitely get probably one pair of, of the Elite's uh, the Elite Series hasn't done super great. The price points have usually been ridiculously high, 250 
uh, for the last ones and stuff. I'm imagining these price points for these could be 250 to 280. Depends on uh, a couple things, but uh, lace locks on these ones, I believe, and they just look interesting. I'm curious to see if LeBron will actually play in the uh, 11 elites or if they started making the 11 elites before they realized he actually had foot problems, which I'm assuming is the situation because it takes him uh, probably eight and nine months to turn around a pair of shoes. So, um, and LeBron wasn't even wearing them nine months ago. So it's going to be interesting to see if we see LeBron actually in these shoes. I'm sure they'll have them specially tailor-made for LeBron, the ones he wears at least with the PEs and whatnot. Um, we saw some images of some Kobe 9 Lowe's EMs uh, standing for Engineered Mesh. It's going to be an interesting look. And I'm curious, not all of them are going to have EM on them. Um, I, I'm assuming that we're going to see some Flyknit Lowe's as well. We've already seen some kind of leaked images of those. Uh, around so definitely want to see more about that but interesting low top price points like a, I think it was a buck 40 or buck 60 for these ones I can guarantee the flyknit ones are going to be upwards of like 180 or so when we hear more about those uh, the Kobe SS uh, Christmas um, the Kobe 8s check these images out with this, the skin removed somebody actually removed the skin and uh, it looks pretty wicked man nice nice looking Kobe if you ask me and it was something I that I noticed when I got mine uh, the, the skin part actually just kind of removes all except for around the the edge of the shoe so it's pretty cool that somebody actually did that and removed it so check that out if you guys want to see that floral trainers uh for the pro bowl i actually believe these dropped this weekend i, I don't remember if i saw an actually official release date i apologize i haven't been 100 percent on top of it it's been difficult trying to balance everything every single week but i believe that these um were announced with nike that they're dropping this week pretty cool uh hawaii theme on them as well um Way Way 2's uh, Year of the, uh, what is it, Horse? Year of the Horse? Kind of reminds me of the Corks. I, I know people that like these shoes are going to be like, no, they look nothing like the Corks. But same kind of color schemes, like a brownish upper hits a red and black. Uh, looks cool, though. Very, very kind of cool looking image there. Some Roshi Runs. Uh, these are in stock if you guys want to purchase these from JP Custom Kicks. They look really, really um, nice, actually. Check out the detailed images from that article if you guys want to see some really up-close shots of the uh, cement print. Pretty cool job that he did over there uh, moving on Kobe 8 preludes drop this weekend just a release reminder on that last one of the prelude pack and then the nines drop the following weekend uh, there's a preview of the a6 for 2014 uh, fall releases if you guys want to check that out the G money did an article on that looks like some pretty cool looking uh, a6 actually coming up um, Air Jordan 1 mid with infrared 23 those are actually are, are have been released to certain places I, I don't know I it's one of those sleeper ones that just drop we don't hear too much about it, but I thought it was noteworthy. It looked kind of interesting. Um, Air Tech Challenge 2 uh, actually released to yesterday. D was No, today. I'm sorry. D the 24th. Uh, these have been getting a lot of hype, especially because of the uh, sole resembling the Yeezy 1s, I believe. Or, or actually, I don't even know. Yeezy 1s, Yeezy 2s. You guys tell me. I'm not a Yeezy dude, so I don't know. I don't own any pairs of the Yeezys. But getting a lot of hype uh, regarding these shoes. Uh, it's crazy though. If you look on eBay, they're only selling for like a buck fifty, maybe two hundred from the previous release, uh, and they retailed today at, at one twenty. So if you're interested in them, it looks like it was a pretty big general release, so you shouldn't have too many, um, too too hard of a problem picking them up. I saw some people tweeting out links to stores randomly that have them in stock, and uh, just because they sold out on Nike.com doesn't mean they're completely gone, guys. Um, Nike Lunar Flyknit 2 is available on Nike ID. I did a couple designs, threw them up here for you guys. I did an Oregon State Beaver colorway right there if you want to see those. Uh, pretty cool. There's not too many options for the upper, though. I'd like to see some more variegation between the colors on the upper for the Flyknit on Nike ID. I'm sure it was a soft launch, and they'll have more eventually, uh, but uh, kind of neat nonetheless. Kind of expensive as well, though. The price point is kind of expensive, but anyway. Uh, Jordan Brand uh, Black History Month uh, PE lineup, if you guys didn't see that earlier in the week. Uh, for MLK Day, they uh, ended up wearing those. Pretty cool uh, looking uh, lineup. And as far as I know, those are not releasing. Uh, Nike Tempo uh, 20 pack. This is like kind of uh, 20 years in football. And if you guys want to check that, you can you can check that out. It was for sale. I'm not sure if it's still in stock, but it is up uh, if you guys were curious about that. Um, Jumpman Bostic. I did an article on Jumpman Bostic's collection. Over 100 or 770 pairs. Uh, he, he had a quick video, and I wanted to show you guys his video as well as I took some screenshots uh, from his video. Currently, he's over 800 pairs. The guy's just uh, legendary, pretty crazy. Definitely worth a look if you guys haven't seen that. Um, Monday uh, series uh, from Kicks Reason, if you guys want to see that. Some more Reebok information. I posted this one from uh, the people over at Museum, uh, Mr. Uh, Jordan Geller, and 12 different Bread 1 releases um, by, by Museum. Definitely a cool 
uh, video if you guys want to check that out. The video is in the, in the, uh, the um, link. and or It's actually on the page if you click the page. Pretty cool. Uh, definitely a cool video. I, li I like his thought processes. Sometimes I feel like I, th I have the same style of, of thought process when presenting a video, and I really like what he does. Um, anyway, moving on. There's just a couple more things here for you guys. Jordan 1 colorways inspired by other Jordan brand colorways. How do you guys feel about that? It was an article written uh, from uh, Joe, a new, new writer to us. And uh, interesting. I'm, I'm curious to see more about um, what you guys think about that. Like, let's say, like like this week, we have the Cool Gray 10 that's dropping, but we also have a Cool Gray 1. We had a Green Glow 4 drop, and then we had a uh, Green Glow 1. Um, some people hate them. Some people like them. Um, I'm kind of indifferent. I mean, I don't hate them at all, but... I mean, if people like them, then by all means, buy them. So that's kind of where I'm at at that. Anyway, Jordan uh, 3 Retro, the Infrared 23s, uh, has, as they've been uh, dubbed, um, get a release date. Those are coming out. Uh, I don't, I'm speculating. I, I want to say it was in March. It's infer I think the information is inside of the article, though. But they look pretty crazy, man. Uh, simplistic colorway. Black and, and white, to me, always work. Black, gray, white, always work. And then that, that little subtle hit of red. Uh, somebody I'm sure is going to color those in and, and making it all black and which honestly I'd be down for those shoes look crazy definitely looking out for those can't believe they're dropping so many more threes though it must it's just a simple um, kind of a simple model that they can just make over and over again and I mean we we eat it up the powder blue threes are probably one of my as of right now they're definitely my favorite release of the year uh, because it's just only <laughs> the first month but the powder blue threes are amazing super super nice quality uh, that's why I ended up getting extras uh, three lab, or excuse me, the five lab threes. I keep wanting to say three lab fives. Uh, Jordan threes, uh, reflective silver has some new images out there. They look pretty nice as well. Uh, I know a lot of people were hating on them. If, honestly, if these had a black collar on the inside, I think it would go much harder. Unfortunately, they went with a white collar. Um, but uh, anyway, that's just my two cents on those. Uh, we got some new images of the uh, Carmine sixes that are going to be scheduled to release, I believe, in May. Definitely want to see more of those. Obviously, my video with my Throwback Thursday video, if you guys didn't see my first in my series video that I did yesterday, I did um, on the Carmine 6s. Uh, surprise, surprise, if you guys didn't see from the thumbnail. Uh, anyway, a new KD6 colorway. Go Beavs. Got up some black and orange and hits a red. Really kind of a cool colorway. Don't know anything about it. No release information, but it was an image that kind of leaked out, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Looks really cool. Definitely want to see more about that. And we saw some uh, SVSM, St. Uh, Vincent St. Mary, uh, PE colorways in a way and home of the LeBron 11s. LeBron actually teased the release of these um, earlier in the year, and I sent out some tweets about that. But uh, I'm curious to see if it actually ever releases or if it's just going to stay as a PE. Pretty cool nonetheless, though. I like both of them. They look both uh, pretty nice. KD6, we're going to get a gold upper on these things. These things look nuts. And it's uh, the kind of the high point game and whatever the 50, 54 point game. So people are dubbing it. People are dubbing things left and right. I mean, call it whatever you want to. Quite honestly, Nike and the brand doesn't really make up an official name. Blogs and blog sites do. So latch on to whichever one you want. It's, there's no officialness to it. Uh, but it is an interesting colorway nonetheless. And I think that's the part that most people should focus on. That gold upper looks ridiculous. I definitely uh, want to see more images of that. Um, anyway, uh, new information again about the Flyknit. Uh, Lunar 2 that dropped some official information from Nike. Uh, same with uh, the Nike Sportswear uh, geometric pack. Pretty crazy looking with those Roshis over there. Um, Air Jordan 5 Duckman or Jump Ducks as they're labeled PEs. I, I told you guys about these a while ago and finally they dropped. So I, as of last week, we saw the fake image as I as I pointed out. And then, of course, the, within a couple of days later, we ended up seeing the original one. Um, that's, uh, that I was talking about. So I was right. Bl Black Upper hits an orange, or excuse me, hits an orange. I'm too much of a beaver dude. Uh, hits a yellow on the back, but you can see the back uh, has a jump duck, but people don't really like the back patent leather on them. Uh, I like this look with the black laces instead. Check out uh, more images of them in the article. But it is a PE that is going to be game-changing for uh, the resale market on the Oregon Duck sneakers because they have the player's number and the name in the inside of the tongue uh, of, of who they belong to. So if they sell them on the resale market and people are posting images of them and the, the people don't have them and stuff, they could probably get in trouble. So it wouldn't. it's not going to be one of those things you're going to see instantly everybody has um, the PEs. It's going to be something you're going to have to wait till that person's done at the college or something like that. But anyway, interesting move, smart move by Nike uh, and Jordan, or excuse me, Jordan Brand more of to do something like that. Uh, oh, interesting PE, not my favorite kind of look, but... Um, but I'm glad the official colorways came out and 
you guys can see I was right with the black upper. Uh, last one, there was some some um, KD6 VC images that were uh, put out there if you guys want to check that out. And that's the weekly recap. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the release dates real quick. Um, not 100% updated, unfortunately. I apologize for that. But uh, today, yesterday was the uh, the tech challenges. Um, or Excuse me, today was. Tomorrow is going to be the uh, Retro 10s, uh, the infrared, infrared Cool Grays, uh, then the Kobe 8 Preludes, and the LeBron 11 Graffitis. And the Dunk SB Chinese New Year. So out of the four uh, here, and even the tech challenges, if you had to pick up one of them, uh, which one would it be and why? And uh, leave a comment in the comment section, please. And let me know which one you guys are planning. Or if you can't, you know you're not going to get them, but which one you would really want to get, leave a comment let me know. For me, out of all four of them, to be quite honest, 100% honest, I would actually get the, the SB Chinese uh, New Year um, Dunks, and I know it's uh, high piece, high piece, because it's all red and the easy reds, uh, you know, the solar reds or whatever is, is still kind of the hype. But honestly, the Chinese New Year thing, I think it's dope uh, with the gold packet, the, and also the the clear soles with the the gold specs. I just think they look like an all around super clean shoe. Next for me out of the pack that I would get, or out of the releases, I would get the graffiti dunk, um, Lebrons uh, because I think they look dope. But I didn't get them because I'm curious to to see whether or not. They do a Nike ID option yet. I know that it's going to be happening soon. It has to be, right? Uh, so I just I was like, dude, I just don't know if I want to get these if they're going to come out in Nike ID and I can get something more personalized. That was my thought process on the process on late. Forget about the, the Prelude pack because I've struck out on every single one. And and the uh, the, the infrareds or the cool grays, um, Nightwing actually posted a picture on Instagram. And his looked really dope actually on foot, I have to say. So... Uh, I was kind of on the fence about them. They look, they're, they're just a super clean shoe, though, so uh, definitely a solid pickup if you guys are planning on picking up those. And then future releases, if you guys want to see, uh, next week we have the Black History Month, and uh, I'm sure there's a lot more I'll update uh, as we go here. But thank you guys for tuning in and watching. It's the uh, collect Collective Kicks Weekly Recap, and uh, we'll catch you guys for some more vids later. Peace, guys.